Can you see the haze in here? I always want to show off the haze. Oh yeah, you can see it kind of. It's so cool. It's like Mordor. It's like when the orcs are making armor. Napkins on the ground, a crucial, crucial part of this equation because this thing is big. I got an auxiliary table. Need room. <laughs> okay, do it. Gotta wait, it's too hot. Do it. Gotta wait. Do it. Give it a minute. Do it. And let it sit. It's molten. Do it. Can't do it. Can't do it. Okay, I'm gonna do it then. Yeah. Shouldn't do it. You can do it. Do I believe it. in you. Just be careful. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You ruined it. Mm -hmm. Wow. Very good. <laughs> no pizza you ever ate. Yeah, nothing like anything you ever ate. Good is that olive oil. Oh my god. I'm home. Oh. Now it just so happens that I'm right smack. I'm oh, holding a laptop. I don't want to be holding a laptop while I'm doing this. I'm gonna get way too fucking animated. Now it just so happens that I'm. Ooh, God. Okay. I've been living in New York for a while now, but I haven't actually been living in New York for a while. I'm at that point, there's probably the worst point that you can be in when you're living somewhere that's new for the first time, and that is that I know a small about, I know a small about, I know a small little about, <laughs> I know a tiny bit about this place, a little bit. I know more than people who just come here once and go off and take a picture of the Statue of Liberty or whatever. I know a little bit more than that, but I don't know much more than that. And as a result, when people come to visit, I have to go and just show them the things that I know over and over and over again. And in doing that, I feel like I'm making myself like dumber. Now, don't get me wrong, I love my daddy, and I love him visiting this city, but God damn it, I just want to try something else sometimes. Even though I wouldn't actually on my own, it just realized that I want to once I'm stifled and I have to show somebody else what's happening. Because let's face it, a lot of people visit you when you're in New York. That's something that just happens when you're here. So when someone's here, you're very excited to see them, but then you know what? Oh my God, here we are again at this place, which I'll go to tomorrow, but I'm gonna act right now because I'm a fucking idiot that I hate it here because you know what? I should show them this. Does this make any sense? I don't think it makes any fucking sense. But there's a few things that I've learned since I've been here. And one of the things that I've learned, this is my new favorite hobby, by the way, I did this today and it was great. What you do is, whenever you're in Brooklyn, especially Brooklyn, but anywhere really around the entirety of New York, there's these things called uh, car services. There's car services and then there's taxis, right? Okay, you know what a taxi is? It's yellow, it's fucking, it takes credit card, does all that shit. Car services, on the other hand, are like less official than taxis. They only take cash. The thing about them is they really, really, really usually want fares. They're begging for them. So what happens is you're walking along, you know, at night, or you're walking with your couples, even more so if you're a couple. You're walking along, you're a couple, and they just bang on the fucking horn, and it's like three in the morning, and they're just like looking at you, and you're looking at them, and you're like, what? And they're like, you want to go in the car? You know, and fucking, I don't want to go in the car. I would be like this. There's no one here who isn't just doing this if they don't want to get in the taxi, okay? So they bother you constantly. So I just figured out a way to bother them back. And what you do is you take advantage of the fact that they're completely desperate for fares, okay? What you do is you just look at them when they're driving by. You look at them. And they're looking for you to be looking at them. So they're very aware of these things. They're very keen to it. So you look at them. And then they interpret this as, oh my god, is that a fair? So they'll pull over, and they'll do anything to pull over. They'll cut across three lanes of traffic, they'll do anything. They'll kill anyone to do it. And after you look at them, after you've established that bond, as soon as they try to get near you, you just ignore them. You act like you were just looking at anybody else. And you know what? The first time I did it, that's what I was doing. I was just, you know, he was laying on his fucking horn because he's an asshole. And then I looked at him, and then he's like, oh, wait. And then I looked away. But I realized that he pulled right up in front of me. So what I did today was I was standing on this little triangle type of park, and it was between three roads going different ways. So there was a road, it was sort of like a little island, you know, in the center of three roads. And the guy's doing his thing, and I look at him, and he starts pulling over to me. But he goes by me, because there's a ton of people behind him. So what he does is he comes back around the triangle, and pulls up next to me again, and then I just ignore him. And I felt so cool. It feels like such power. And I know this is a tiny little thing, but this is something I didn't understand when I first got to New York. I didn't understand that you could fuck with the cabbies. Or not the cabbies, but at least the car service guys. I, I've, have you ever seen someone in New York, if you guys have lived here or have ever been here, have you ever seen someone in New York who, when they were looking for a taxi, wasn't doing this? In short, fuck with cab drivers, because it's really funny. Maybe we'll all learn something about each other. Maybe we'll just... we'll have a moment. Good evening, fellas. God, where's my Ricky? Where's my Ricky? Where's my Ricky? I gotta go find my Ricky. Oh. 
it's a wonderful night. It's a beautiful Chris Bear. She's walking back from some, some bar, hanging out with the writer friends because she uh, does her writer work because she goes to school because she's a wonderful young girl. She's so smart. I love her so much. Anyways, uh, what I do is I usually meet up with her if she's walking back to the house. This is a courtesy thing, you know. And I'm going to find my Ricky right now. Yeah, somewhere in uh, Park Slope, Park, 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 something like that. I don't know. So you guys can see Ricky. I haven't seen Ricky in a while. I'm really happy to be home. The internet works now, so that's why you're seeing these vlogs. So let's go find Ricky. Let's go find Ricky. Look at this. this is a cold kitty right here. Rare. What you doing, caddy? Stretching out? What you doing? You just don't give a shit, do you? I can't even begin to describe how cheesy this sounds, but I've never felt a love, like, an, like a physical feeling of love for a location before until I came to New York. Now, I just got back here, so you're gonna have to fucking suffer this because I haven't been here in a while, at least what feels like a while. But just walking around here, uh, I don't know. Again, I'm not gonna try to articulate it because it doesn't matter, but I'm just saying that I fucking love it here. It also might have something to do with the fact that there's a diner down there that just opened, maybe three blocks from my house, 24 hours. Someday I'll make it there. Say, Ricky, say hi. Say hi to our friends. That's, that's as good as a hi you'll ever get. You got Ricky to smile at you. She was out uh, hanging out with writers, talking about prose and hoes, whatever you writers talk about. I'm walking next to a very nice um, hospital, now turned into somewhere where people live. That's how shit works in New York. If it was once something really scary, it's now the coolest place to live because it's all like been bought out and redone and really nice. So this is the beautiful once once Jewish hospital now. You can't ever afford to live there. And also, okay, this is what's right next to it. This is what I was talking about earlier. Neptune Diner 2. <laughs> I don't know where the one is. And I don't know if it's Neptune like the planet or like the king or the ocean or whatever. But it's open 24 hours. And it's grand. Oh, it's grand, that opening. We're going to go there this weekend, okay? You want to do that? You okay. Oh, you wearing my mom's scarf? Yeah. Oh, look at you. Show it to my dad. He's really drunk in my basement. I want to see. Good night, Dad. I don't think he hears me. <laughs> what was that? No. Good night, guys. Here we are. Oh, you got your glasses on, I see. I love those glasses, though. Nice papers. I like them? Yeah, what's Those the are point? coupons. Oh, we got pigeons out here again. I haven't seen pigeons in a while. Yeah. To oh, Dean Street. I am! I want the damn thing to come. I need to film it. Got a stretch. Now this is a balanced breakfast right here. You got your potato group, you got your bread ketchup meat group. This is pretty. I like when the sun is like that, where it's like, you know, obscured and it doesn't touch me at all. Let's roll out. Let's roll out. No, I like that box. I keep everything for a reason. Everything I buy is very important to me. We woke up hell late today, and we got breakfast, and then I just started uploading finally, it's like 3 o'clock. So I'm gonna give my dad a late night. Eh, don't worry about it. Brooklyn's so much different from a car, but it's still, uh, it might be prettier because you get to go, get around it quicker. It's pretty neat. This is Prospect Park that we're going into here. Up to, or at least along the sides of it. And it's like a big ass museum or something, it's like dinosaur bones, and there's like children over there. There's someone spitting on the sidewalk. And uh, I actually don't do that. Everyone I know does that, but I don't do that. I'm so clean. I like when they put little animals on the backs of trucks because then I have a friend to look at for 45 minutes while I'm stuck in traffic. A little emperor penguin pet. It's close as I'll ever get, so. I love these things so much. I'm the Dark Knight, <laughs> etc. cetera. So we're almost to Coney Island. It's like maybe two miles from my house, or three miles, but it takes 45 minutes to get there, typically with the winding. You know, Brooklyn back road bullshit. Look it, we made it. I'm gonna get murdered. I'll take the keys, shit. I love this place. This is a great like photo spot. So my dad actually grew up on the Jersey boardwalk. So I'm sure this is very, uh, this is very emotional for you right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I really, I don't know who that kid is, like their little mascot, but he is fucking terrifying. Oh, NYPD right over Coney Island. Picturesque. I know. Yeah, I put 50 cents in because I just wasn't sure if I should or not. So I got I got the fear. 
God, this would be a great spot for a photo shoot, though. It's really stark and empty and good. Don't get bothered by people. Because, you know, that's like, that's totally a thing now. So you get like a hot girl, you get her naked. Oh, they're doing it over here. They're taking pictures right now. Um, yeah, you get her naked and you put in front of like some train tracks or like a shitty building like that. And then you get really good lighting and all the people are like, oh my God, look at that. So this is where I'll be. I don't need a photo shoot. It's also nice to have space, you know? Okay, every photographer in New York comes here though to take stupid engagement pictures and shit because there's a couple doing one right there. There's a tripod set up over there with those guys. Uh, there's some people making out. And uh, there's actually people taking pictures right around the corner there. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna find more for you if I can. <laughs> Look, we're back in Florida. I'm all reminiscing of home. <gasps> I miss home! <laughs> that fucking palm tree. It feels like, it, feels like it's made of Legos or something. And look at, on our left, we have the Wonder Wheel. The Wonder Wheel. Wonder what makes that wheel go. Wonder why would anyone pay money to go on the Wonder Wheel. Far enough. You got far enough? You get it? I get it. Let's go back. You're all teary-eyed, remembering home. Your days as a youth. Utes. Utes. I haven't seen sand in like months, you know? It's kind of like a really gross fair that just instead of leaving just packs up and sits there and is somehow <laughs> scarier, you know? Yeah, it's sort of neat. But it looks a lot more like, I mean, it's in the Rust Belt. It's a theme park in the Rust Belt, so it's, oh my God. Fucking War of the World shit. Well, that was Dad's big uh, coming out of the adventure. I'm gonna go make Dad eat pizza now. Damn. What time is it? Cold? Cold? Very cold. <laughs> <laughs> it's damp. Ugh, yeah, it's gonna snow tonight, maybe. Maybe, just maybe. Oh, look at a million cats. Wouldn't be Brooklyn without 6,000 cats. It's a fucking cat herd. The one's cute. Yeah, the one has got a thing on him. He's like tagged like a mountain lion. <laughs> those two are those, his bitches. Rare. 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 Yeah, they run a cat that's coming to Coney Island. They even have a fucking clock. This is too cool. In case you were wondering when the next time you're gonna miss that show that you never watch on the 4th of July. Whoosh. Mill no record 68. God. That's fucking gross. <laughs> Look at my dad's going to Best Buy. That is to say, uh, 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 wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Uh, Best Buy liquors. Can you hear that? Yeah, Best Buy liquors. How cool is that? I guarantee it's the same company, right? So my dad's going over there. I need to go into here and buy some gum or something so I can piss because probably the hardest thing to do in the entire like sovereign of New York is to just piss that isn't your house. You can piss outside, I guess, legally, but. Legit pissing is very difficult here. I kind of need a bathroom key. Yeah. I'm gonna fuck everything up by stealing it as that guy comes out. This is like not New York. The fuck? Get off the road! Oh <laughs> fucking god! What is he? No, oh, wait for people. Fuck out there, why don't you? So it's like driving New York. This is a little experiment everyone at home can see. Lots of lights. Goo goo dolls. Uh, dad. Yellow lights all go at once. Straight to red, pow. Look at my first shitty parallel park job. It's in there though. Not too much room. It's only like a foot from the curb. That's not bad. No, That's not bad. Right. You're not right on the curb, but guess That's what? not bad. So what? Street, so nobody's gonna yeah, who cares? So yeah, the big adventure though going on right now is the forest. We got here super early. We gotta wait for it to open up actually, but then it's pizza, fucking pizza time. We'll be the first in line. We'll be first in line. We'll probably be five in front of us. It's popular. Cool gate. Yeah, this area is pretty cool. This is Midwood. Here we are again. Always here. Dad's grabbing the drinks. You grab the drinks and then you pay after, which is perfect. <laughs> Puppy likes this. He loves olive oil on pizza, so he should love this. Good. Yeah, it never gets old. Mmm. Cheap, only $40. <laughs> or whatever. Yeah, but then the sodas. How much were the sodas? I think they're only like a dollar. It's not a big deal. Really? Yeah. They, they get you, I mean, with the $28 pies where they make the money, you, you know? You don't have to tip, so. Yeah. So you don't have to tip. So it's like going out to get to a really nice restaurant, but except it's just really nice pizza. Purple Point Arch, there. that's pretty. I've never been here at night before. It's so pretty. I think that's the Union Sailors and Soldier Arch, I think it's called, or something like that. Or it's the Welch's Arch. Yeah, Welch's, Welch's Arch, it's grape. Subterranean homesick pigeon up there. Seems rolling around. What's he fucking doing down here? Because it's in the yellow. Same thing we're all doing. So we're just waiting to die. Going. Oh, yeah, <laughs> well, taking taking your mind off death is what I was gonna say. If not that, I missed it. God damn it! He just flew by. What are you doing down? There? I don't know. I guess they just begged down here. They just too. fucking get confused. Oh, he's going out. He went up and left. He flew out of here. Yeah, he just comes down here when it rains. <laughs> this is what it's like to be a dad on the subway. You look left. You look right. And then you're a dad on the subway. I love that huge King Kong guy. King Kong. King Dong. <laughs> Hell, what's he doing there? He's huge, isn't he? King Dong. He's huge. 
He's like most of the fucking World Trade Center. Yeah. Shit. So much spray tan. So much package. Such dick. Such power.